Stormer. Yes. I've got a Scott Stormer. Yeah. I've got a Mod Pappy Stormer. Here. And I've got my Bella Corey. <laughs> okay, how's everyone doing today? Fine. Good. 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 Well, I'm going to tell you what the true story of Thanksgiving is. But with a little puppet. And Great. I will tell you that this whole thing started off with Mommy getting a package and me being nosy. <laughs> that is a cardboard box. Okay. okay. Looks pretty good. Turn that light on over there, Daddy. Good light. Oh no, you have to keep that light on, honey. Oh, so yeah. grandma and Pappy could see, but turn the yeah. Okay, turn the we're almost ready to start. Turn the okay. turn the flashlight on. No, I mean you have to leave that one. You on. have to leave the Oh. That's calling you to the <coughs> Oh, okay, like a regular play. Oh there wow, even lights. Okay, we're ready. Okay. Speaking of puppets, where are those puppets? It all started when a ship called the Mayflower was sailing across the sea looking for a new land. And of course, with every ship comes the captain. Hey, you team, man the sails. Bob the poop desk, and I don't mean the place where we go to the bathroom. That's just a bucket. Do it now or you'll walk the plate. When they got there, there was new people waiting for them. In a land now that we now call America. Look, Doctor, there's white cells coming. Oh, I'll have to hide in the woods like we practiced. Yeah, 
but maybe I could show you around. That's the woods back there. It's getting fall, so all the leaves turn bright color. And, oh, I think James went to go get something. I brought back this rock from England. See? Oh my goodness, it's pretty. It's called gold. We don't have that here. We well, probably do, it's just underground. We have lots of gold mines in England. Oh, well I'd love to see more. I wish we could go there. It sounds like such a great place. Well, we came here because we thought it was a great place here. Hey, maybe we can be friends. Yay! Let me go see if my father is going. Doing well. What a nice place. I know, James, isn't it? I wish maybe we could have a better place, though. It uh, doesn't seem like there's much houses around. No, James, it doesn't. Maybe we can build a colony. Bring more colonists here. Then maybe, just maybe, we could start a new land. That sounds great, James. And maybe a little bit of romance. <laughs> He's doing just fine. He's going to make a big bonfire for the feast tonight, and he invites you to come. Wow, how nice. Is it all right if we bring more colonists here? It's such a wonderful place here. We can build houses and help you. Well, that would sound great. But I don't know if it would be under my father's approval. Well, you could just ask him. We have plenty of ships back home, and I'm sure we could get there. Hmm. Father, oh father, I'm going to go look around. There might be some good trees here. Father, oh father, yes daughter, can they join us for this feast? Yes. And can they bring new colonists here? They think it's very lonely here and they're going to build houses. Oh, that sounds like a great idea. How about you stay here and with us until more colonists come? There's a big feast coming up tonight. And I know my daughter has invited you. Oh, I love the feast. It's just so great. Let me show you where we'll eat. We'll eat right here on the ground. Oh, we have a table that I'm building. You could see it later, but right now, let's just think of what we uh, give thanks to. Oh, I give thanks to the wonderful ships that brought us here. I give thanks to my friend, new friend, Ella and James. And I give thanks to my daughter, a miracle herself. Oh, Dad, thanks. I wish that maybe we could all live in peace someday. Not a lot of not a lot of people are as nice as you, Ella. Other people came and they destroyed all our colonists. Well, I'll make sure that never happens again. Thanks, Ella. Well, what was that? I think that was a shooting star in the middle of the day. No, Ella, it's just a bright, uh, I mean, no, Yellow Killer. It's just a bright light coming from the sun. Oh, yeah, we call that a big star. We call it big star. It's the best thing, and we worship it, because if without that, I think we could be cold, and we think that the plants, because all the flowers go out during the night, we think the plants need it too. And without plants, we wouldn't have life. Maybe I could show them how to garden, Dad. I think that would be great. Thank you, Red Hawk. You're welcome, Ella. Let me go see what James is doing. I'm back. Oh, I'm going to teach you how to garden. Oh, amazing. I love garden.